I've never seen river levels this high in, in the 30 years that I've been in this building. Water is being pumped out at a frantic pace from the historic Milwaukee Repertory Theater building, while in the basement, it continues to seep in. But everything that's in this building right now, pumping-wise, is running at full capacity. If this room got flooded, um, that would be a, a, a catastrophe. Just across the river, health concerns from flooded basement storage areas have closed two restaurants. I'm almost standing in the river here as the water levels have risen above this landing, pushing the water and debris above the door frame. A resident of the building who asked that we not identify her says the floodwaters have impacted everyone here. Did you have things stored in the basement here? Yes, we all, I mean, all of us did, and we, a lot of things were ruined. The higher water levels are impacting some businesses for sure. City officials tell 12 News not much can be done to stop the rising water and that people along the river aren't the only ones feeling the effects. Another factor of having high water is, is that we do have more bridge openings. That means more traffic delays for thousands of downtown commuters as even smaller boats now require a bridge lift. This is an ordinary pontoon boat and this is the Wisconsin Avenue Bridge. As we pass under it, you can see I can actually reach up and touch the bridge and I have to duck to get underneath it. This year, every single bridge has to be raised, yeah. And if not, boats that used to pass through untouched are now often scraping the bridge decks. Uh, every single one of our larger uh, liners has had to get bars and canopies fixed. Wow, all this because Lake Michigan water levels are so high. So can't any word on the status of the restaurants that are closed? Uh, no, Joyce, no word yet on when or if they're going to be reopening this uh, one right here. Pier 106 has been shut down for almost two months. We are told that the other restaurant in this building that's closed, Brunch, uh, has, in their words, some progress to report, hinting that they're, they're going to reopen, whether here or at another location, but we're still waiting on confirmation from ownership about that. All right, Kent Wayne Scott reporting live along the Milwaukee River.